Right, so we got another delivery. This was meant to be here yesterday. It's here a day late, but I will take it. The twin charging docking station for Microsoft controllers, along with two rechargeable batteries, which is great. I also had to get this upgrade. I bought it on finance, so a few monthly payments, but it's an upgrade on what I have. I have the original HD60S, but I needed the Plus to get 4K gaming on my monitor. I'm still going to record and stream in 1080p, like the, that's still limited on this, but I can at least play in 4K. I couldn't do that with that. I don't get 4K on the Xbox because I have the original HDCS and it's maxed out. This one, apparently, does let you play in 4K, so hopefully that is true. The reviews say it's true, so I'm going to have to trust it, so hopefully it works, otherwise I'm going to return it again. But anyway, apart from that though, I finally figured out how to use my two monitor setups. So I made this video a while ago, um, new gaming setup. And if you go to the comments, because I was try, I had a two monitor setup, but I didn't have to use it properly. And uh, I don't know why YouTube does this. I don't want that filter on. Why does it do it anyway? Um, yeah, someone actually no, someone else commented that you had to switch it around. I didn't know what he meant though. I, I was I was just like so confused. I should have asked him to be honest. His comment is not there anymore for some reason. Uh, this guy said, have you managed to get anything uh, working properly now? Well, I have now, if, you, if you're still watching this channel, mate. Uh, so, you go on display settings. Also, I've been obsessed with uh, ship videos recently. I mean, I've been, I've been watching that, which is nothing related, but I've been watching a lot of, like, stories about ships that are sinking. I, I don't know why I'm into that. But anyway, um, yeah, right-click, display settings, like the video. Yeah, so you, you literally just switch these around. So, first of all, let me just... Uh, Extend these displays, right? Extend these displays. So now I'm gonna have the second monitor, which, yeah, there we go. There we go, right. Keep changes, yeah? Keep changes, right? Here's how I figured this out, yeah? L let me just, literally, right, okay. I've, literally, this screen, screen one is this, and screen two is this. Literally, all you do, all you do, right, is you just switch it around like that. And then you click apply. If I press apply there, and if I go left here, the mouse will be on the right there, which is what I didn't want. But now, literally, what I can do is switch it around like I did, apply, and now, when I move the mouse to the right, it will go to the other monitor. And this is still my main monitor, which is fantastic. So it was literally that simple. Someone did tell me. I still didn't get it. I should have asked him to explain a bit more, but I didn't want to sound stupid. But, uh... We have got that sorted, and to open apps in this, I didn't have to open apps on a second monitor. You just, you just, you just drag it. That's literally it. That's that's. It's literally that simple. You just drag it across. That's it. That's literally it. <laughs> that's all I had to do. So I could like open a browser, put it on this, watch a video while I upload videos on this on this one, a different browser. Like I use Firefox to upload and uh, I use Microsoft Edge to watch videos. So I can do both at the same time. I can do it anyway with split screen, but now I can do it with two screens, which is really cool. So I finally figured that out. So I can now stream on PC while looking at my stream, uh, just connect connectivity and also playing the game here. So that is all sorted out, which is fantastic. So let's sort out these things. I probably should have shown myself setting this up, but I got a bit too excited. So literally you take these out, take the batteries out, and then the thing just clips in. It, it's, it's a bit hard at first, but like you, you got to properly clip it in and it fits. And it makes the controller look better actually. I like the, uh, I don't know, I don't know, for some reason it makes it look cooler. Either way, you know, this means it's charging. I mean, one of them, one of them is not f bright red anymore. I don't know what that means. But that is cool. So it's USB powered, but I've connected to my phone charger and that worked, which is good. But while the Xbox is on standby, this will work, which is good to know. So uh, yeah, positive. Now hopefully this thing works. Wait a second, my Xbox controller, it just turned the Xbox on. Hang on a second. So as soon as I put these rechargeable batteries in, it works. Excuse me? Does this work as well? No. Oh, it does. When I turn this off, that one. Yeah, okay. All I had to do was connect rechargeable batteries. Is that what you're telling me? So you're telling me I can't turn this on without... If I have normal batteries, I can't 
turn it on without the console wiring it. What, really? Either way, you know, despite that, these controllers are good. They feel good in my hands. I streamed Forza Motorsport 7, enjoyed the game. These controllers do feel good. I can't compare it to previous controllers in the Xbox, I didn't own any, any Xboxes. I did play on the uh, Xbox 360 and the original Xbox. Uh, probably played on the Xbox One at some point as well, but I don't remember the controllers enough. But for this, for the first impression of Xbox, this controller is good. These controllers are good. I, I, do, I do like it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the PS5 one is like, because that is coming tomorrow. They're introducing, they're sending me the controller and the PS camera a week early, so yeah, we'll see how that feels, but I might not open it until next week, to be honest. I don't know what's the point of opening it. I know you can use it with a PS4, but I'm not sure about that. So this box is elite, by the way, but there is the HC60S Plus. It literally, like, look at how this thing looks compared to the other one, right? Regular one. New one. A few design differences, but more or less the same thing. Hopefully the wires are the same, so I can just connect the thing without having to use new wires. I'm, I might do that right now. Let me see if it works. Yes! Are you serious? That's literally all it was. I just had to upgrade this. It cost me a bit of money, but all I had to do was get an upgraded version, and it works. It works now. My TV supports... It doesn't support that, which is which makes sense. This is a 60 hertz monitor. It's not higher than that, so that actually makes sense. But that... It supports 4K Ultra HD, 60 Hz. Fantastic. Playing your games, yep, fantastic. I, 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 I like it. I like it, yeah? And let me just uh, go back in the settings, yeah? Let me just go back in the settings. Resolution, yeah? Give me that 4K, yeah? Ultra HD, yeah? 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 Give it to me. Yes! I want to keep it. Of course! Oh, yes. I have 4K Xbox. <laughs> Hopefully the PS5 has no issues either with this thing, but there we go. That's all I had to do. That's fantastic. I can now have higher quality. You won't see it in the streams or videos because it's still going to record at 1080p, but I'm happy that I get to see it in 4K. Along with the Forza games, I also got Rocket League, which is obviously free on all platforms now. I don't know if I'm going to play it. I said I would retire and I did, and I connected my account now and I'm level 1000 from the PlayStation 4, so uh, it's, the progress is still there, but uh, I might play at some point, I don't know. Also, this game, I thought it was a PC-only game. I got this on PC, but no one plays it. I got two golf games, one's Tower Unite, which people do play, I played it on stream, and it's Golf With Your Friends. But on PC, I, ne I can never find a game, I've so I never, I never been able to stream it. But, on Xbox, it's on Game Pass, and people also play it on Game Pass. People do play this, so... That's great! People play it on Xbox, I can actually enjoy the game with other people, which is fantastic. Now, I'm still a PlayStation guy, alright? I'm still a PlayStation guy. But one of the things that Xbox does better is backwards compatibility. They have their old console games on this. Not all of them, but they do have their old console games, especially the big ones. This and this are my two favourite games of all time. And I can buy them and play them on the, on the Series S if I want to. It is a bit pricey to be honest, £25 for a really old game that people don't really play anymore. I'm not sure that's worth it, but still, you know, it's, it's a good option to have. This game is great, but I never, I never finished it, I mainly free roamed on it. I finished the second one, so I'd be tempted to get this one, but I'm not sure. Um, but that for £12 ain't too bad though, I might consider that, because you could drive anything on that. You could, you could drive a train, there's so many things you can do on this, on free roam, so... I'd consider that, but yeah, this is this is my wish list. I don't know if I'll even get them, but it's good to have the option to get them. So that's great. The only thing I wish I would have had is FIFA 10. FIFA 10 is not on here. I would love if they had that. I think FIFA 15, but not FIFA 10. That's a bit a bit of a downside, but still, you know, backwards compatibility is the way to go. PlayStation should have should have been doing it, but they don't. Apart from, I mean, they're doing PS4 backwards, but. The fact they're not doing PS3, PS2 games is just its a bit of a waste to be honest, but uh, this is this is good from Xbox, this, this is good, I, li I like what they do with this. Maybe I should just put this whole one in here and just pretend it's brand new, I could still use it to record the PS4 in future maybe, but uh, yeah maybe I could just keep this here and just you know, give it to Amazon and be like, you gave me the wrong one! I'm kidding, I, would, I wouldn't actually do that, that is just, <laughs> that, that is just stupid, but it's useful to have an extra HDMI cable, so I'm happy to have that, so uh, 
because like when I record my PS5, I can't like record both, so I'll have to like keep switching the wires. I mean, I could just take the Xbox One and just connect it there. The, the wire is long enough, but uh, just in case, I think having this will be very useful. And this is just a cable to connect my Elgato. USB-C to USB, so I'm pretty sure I can use it for other, other things as well. I like to charge my phone, so useful wires and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to be able to play in 4K now. And I think I'll just end the vlog here.